Question 10. In this question, you'll be assessed on the quality of your organisation, communication and accuracy in writing. So that's these two marks here for OCW. So we're, the trick is to write as little as possible, because the more mistakes you make, the more marks they're going to end up taking off. So this question says the perimeter of a square is 56 centimetres. So the perimeter means that you add up all of the sides together. So when we add all of these sides together, it will make 56 centimetres. Calculate the area of the square. You must show all of your working. So the area is length times width, or what we know about squares is that all of these sides must be exactly the same. So we could say that it would be, area of a square would be the length squared. So if we need to find out what one of these sides is, if all four of them add up to 56, then we're basically sharing this 56 by 4. So we can work out the Fifty six centimeters divided by four, and this is the calculator paper, so we can do that on here. Fifty six divided by four is fourteen. So that means that every one of these sides is going to be fourteen centimeters. But to work out the area of the square, we just need to work out fourteen times fourteen. So 14. I could press the squared button here because I'm timesing it by itself, or I could times it by 14 again. And that would give 196 centimetres. An area is always in squared because you times two measurements together. So that there will give you the three marks. So one mark for 14 centimetres, so 56 divided by 4 is 14, one mark for 14 squared or 14 times 14 and the final mark then for 196 centimetres squared. So the two um, organisation and communication marks come from how you set your workings out. So we have said to the examiner each stage what we are working out. We're working out the length, shown our calculation, given the units in both the calculation and the answer, said at this point what we've done, the calculation we did, the answer with the units as well. So that should get two marks, organisation, communication and writing. There's no mistakes in spelling. And again, the units are all correct.